टू आवर डे फर्स्ट of history subject of standard 7 today we are going to see our first chapter that is sources of history you all of you get ready with your history textbook in front of you and pencil in your hand okay shall we start yes this is the lesson on sources of history sources means what a place from where we can get information about history history is been written on the authentic proofs is a thing events and proofs so first of all we are going to see the definition of the history history gives us a chronological scientific and systematic account of past event what do you mean by chronological chronological means sequence wise okay so sequence wise and history is been written on authentic proofs and this authentic proofs are the sources of history in this lesson we are going to see minimal period sources of history okay first of all the history is been written on the four major pillars that are factors there are four factors are individuals society place and time what do they help us they help us to know about a particular society particular period and about a particular person okay shall we start yes now all of you be very attentive and look in your textbook we study ancient indian history last year this year we are going to study the medieval period of indian history broadly the period from the 19th century ce is the end of the 18th century ce is considered to be the medieval period of indian history okay is it clear in this lesson we are going to study sources of medieval history what is history as i explained you already you just tick mark in your textbook with pencil history gives us chronological scientific and systematic account of past events okay underline good what we are the four fact factors which are very important from the viewpoint of history yes can you say individuals society place and time underline this important point also and history must be based on authentic evidence and or proofs authentic means yes they should be very true to rely okay these proofs are known as sources of history what is known as sources of history the proofs are known as sources of history how should be the proofs they should be very authentic right let us classify these sources into different parts now classification of the sources are as follows material sources written sources and oral sources what do you mean by material sources can you say material sources are the sources which we can see we can touch and we can experience they comes under material sources understood <coughs> now we are going to in your textbook we will read further let us classify these sources into material sources written sources and oral sources to learn more about them let us also evaluate the sources of history now we are going to see one by one each sources first of all we will see material sources now you understood what are material sources material sources are the things which we can see touch and experience yes we have to consider many factors related to the historical events that we want to study it is necessary to support our study with historical sources these sources have to be verified we 
have to see whether they are authentic. Yes, authentic means are they very true to reliable. Okay. It is necessary to use these sources judiciously and only after a critical analysis. Forts have an important place among material sources. In material sources, where very important part is force. You all know force. Have you seen the force? Yes, there are various types of force. Sea force, hill force, forest force and force on planes. Okay, now we are going to see next part that are monuments including samadhis, graves, birgalas and the building including palaces, ministerial mansions, queen's quarter that is Rani Vasa and also the houses of common people. For, force, all of you know force? Yes. Marathi mein Hindi mein se kya bolte hai? Killa. Yes. Monuments include Samadhi. Samadhi, I can give you the example of Samadhi. Santa Janishwar Samadhi, Shivaji Maharaj Samadhi, Sai Baba Samadhi. Yes, they are also been considered into material sources. Gravies. Gravies are the, they are, means they are burials of the dead body. Okay, they are the burials of dead body. They are called gravies. Example, Taj Mahal, Bibiga Makbara, they are called gravies. Yes. Virgala. Virgala is a thing from uh, which are been made in the medieval period, which are the memories of warriors. What are Virgalas? Memories of warriors. Okay. They are been in the three stupas are there. Okay. In first stupa, it is a picture and the life of the warrior. Second stupa, it explains the event of war and in third Warriors are playing with God, it shows they are in heaven. Except in Maharashtra, except Maratha and Vidarbha, there are many Birgalas situated in medieval period at that time. They are also considered as the material sources. In, there are buildings. Now we can see the building including palaces. Palaces. Ministerial mansions. Ministerial mansions are the very large and impressive houses. They are called ministerial mansions. Queen's quarters that is Rani Vasa. I can give you the example of Rani Vasa, Hava Mahal. Okay. And also the houses of common people. They all provide insight about the period. Looking at them. Matlab, when we that we come to know the type of architecture during that period. What was the development of architecture? What they used to make these buildings and samadhis and all these monuments. Okay. Economical conditions is been reflected from this. The quality of art style. The quality of art style and building constructions and the people standard also been reflected than the living of people in that particular period and place is been reflected from this material sources. I hope you all have understood this first part of our sources that is material sources. In this we have explained now force about
points. 